morning it's barbara it is again gorgeous outside we need rain we need rain but i'm going out good morning it's barbara it's pretty nice out here i'm just wearing a shirt and my i think this is called a girl's best friend it needs to be blocked because it's sitting it's really showing only the inside maybe it just needs to be judged i'll judge Anyway, good morning. I'm feeling better today. Yesterday I worked on things myself. I worked on myself and uh, told Dennis I'm doing self-care today, which included watching Christy's new video where she's talking about 50 free cross-stitch patterns for the holidays. I got the sun here behind me. Even though I'm not cross-stitching, I, you know, watching my daughter is self-care. <laughs> and I knit. And I knit a lot yesterday, and the knitting was self-care, and it worked great. I felt much better. It's interesting because I, when I'm doing something auditory that is, doesn't feel particularly good, you know, valuable, I feel bad, but if I'm knitting, I don't. So when I'm watching something that I don't care about and why am I watching it, but if I'm knitting, it's okay. And today and last night I was listening to, there are these YouTube channels. I don't think I've talked to you about them before. It's a little embarrassing, but there are these YouTube channels that are essentially, they're just reading posts from Reddit and, but they're like, uh, they have different categories like malicious compliance, like telling people telling stories about where someone has, you know, insisted that they do something that the people know isn't correct, but they just do it anyway. Malicious compliance. I'll do what you tell me. And then it goes wrong. And uh, usually it's like a new boss comes in and wants to change something and it screws up the whole company or whatever. It's a little revengey, and I kind of like it. And then they have ones that are, you know, revenge. <laughs> and, and there's another category called, I don't work here, lady. You know, I don't work here, lady, which is usually women <laughs> accosting other customers thinking they work there anyway. There are many YouTube channels that um, basically read these things. And I have no doubt that the, anymore the vast majority of them are like fiction. Somebody just made it up, made up this story. And some of the stories are so bad, it's like, really? You know, but they've been going for quite some time now, years. And I think they've, you know, probably run out of actual good stories. When it first began, the stories were pretty good. But anyway, for some reason, I like to watch these. I, well, and I usually read them on my phone because I put closed captioning on, or they just show the text on, you know, it's not like they animate them in any way. They just show the text. And so I just read them because, you know, Dennis and Aura are sitting there. So anyway, last night after Aura went up, I put the sound on. So the guy was reading them and I knit and I knit a lot. And, and I felt good, even though I'm listening to these dopey stories that probably aren't even true. But I knit a lot, and I'm going to show you my knitting. Mm. Right, so I was going to bring out the... I printed off the first page of the um, knit vent. I'll go get it. But first, I'm going to show you my... See how much I have? So I so I am to here repeating and then I have this much more to repeat and I'll be done with the striping because I finished the five, just started the three um, teals, then I'm going to have three white and two teals and one white and then I'll be done. And I've pretty sure that this is 
um, pretty close to where I want to. That's going to bring me right to my ribbing. I'm pretty sure. But I will show you because I'll put it on, try it on cord and try it on. And it's going to leave me plenty of teal to finish, to do the sleeves and put some teal on the hood. So this, this is really coming along. And I just knit last night. So see, I, I, I don't know where I was when last I showed you because, you know, I'm not really a podcaster anymore, so I'm not. <laughs> I'm not being very good about... <clears throat> marking things but I think I did like this whole thing almost and it's got quite a few stitches anyway even more importantly than how much knitting I achieved it was calming and I felt good and it felt like the knitting was self-care and my arm doesn't hurt, so I may be rebuilding those knitting muscles a little bit. But I'm really happy with the sweater. <laughs> I'm really happy with the sweater. But let me go get the uh, Helen Stewart shawl picture. Yeah. Luckily, I had some trouble printing it. <laughs> Luckily. Um, I had to reboot my machine and whatever, whatever. Because I just sent the whole thing to the color printer, which was foolish anyway. And then I realized it's 26 pages. <laughs> I'm like, ah! <laughs> So I didn't send the whole thing to the color printer. Um, and then I realized, 26 pages, that's crazy. And I'm like, oh, it's Helen Stewart. She does line by line instructions so that you can just tick them off. And for a lot of things that I've knit of hers, I... I really liked that. Um, <clears throat> but this is such a huge thing. This is the thing that goes around her neck and down here. I mean, that must be 80 inches. I haven't read the pattern, and so I don't know exactly. How, I mean, but that's crazy. So anyway, line by line. <laughs> uh, so I only pr printed this, and I haven't read the pattern yet, but based on the picture, I know that I won't be knitting this anytime soon. Um, I don't want to knit anything that long, and I don't need anything that long. It's called Vignette. It's very nice. It's got, I don't know if you can see, it's got a, it's got a little bit of a lace pattern in it. And, um, it looks, I don't know if the yarn that she uses is striped or the pattern is striped. We'll see. Um, when I actually read the pattern, but, uh, I won't be, I won't be knitting this. And I think you'd have to have 47 advents to do this as an advent project. But I'm sure there are people out there who are, you know, I mean, this is something akin to a schlanket, right? <laughs> but um, I love the color of it. But anyway, so I'm glad I, I'm glad my printer didn't, printing spooler didn't work because I, I just printed the first page for you guys and I'll go read it. But I, um, I'm sure that's more than I want. I have a lot of knitting I want to do. No, I want to, I have a lot of knitted things I want to have. I'm not sure how much knitting I want to do, although I am enjoying my sweater. Um, but, but a big, a giant rectangular shawl is not high on my list but it's a pretty pattern and if you want a giant shawl then I think that may be perfect for you but I'll get another pattern next week so we'll see what that one is that's the fun part of it you know you get a new pattern every week for the for the four weeks of November thank you again Valerie even though 
even though this isn't uh, in my queue very high, I do appreciate it. But I'm, I got a few pieces to go on the Montrealer because I'm, once I get down to where the ribbing starts, then for the body, I need to pick it up and knit the um, pocket. Plus, I have to do the sleeves, and I'm intending to stripe the sleeves the same way as I striped the body. And then I have a hood. So I have a lot going on. The hood has a pocket to put a cord in so you can, you know, bunch it up. I'm not sure that I will do that. We'll see. Red squirrel just ran down my tree. Dennis said that there was a woodpecker on our deck railing when he came down, which I find interesting. They shouldn't be pecking at this deck, though. I'm pretty sure it's treated wood, which is not that good. So anyway, so I'm feeling better today than I was yesterday. I do have a task today. I have to pay the, if I pay the taxes, the inheritance taxes on the, my mom's estate today, um, we get a small discount on the tax. <clears throat> but, you know, more for the grandkids. Less we, less we spend on taxes, the better. So I will be doing what I have to do to do that. I have to, you know, mail it certified, you know, signature required, return me a thing, you know, like whatever. It's probably going to cost $20 to mail this letter. <laughs> but I will do that today. My lawyer's going on vacation for a week, so I have a week off. <laughs> <laughs> Maisie's with me out here. By herself, no Pearl. Did I tell you Dennis just... I think I did. Dennis just left to take Pearl to our vet. Our vet is an excellent diagnostician, and so we feel very confident that she's going to give us the real skinny. But I have to tell you that Pearl is doing so much better. I mean, we let her come up the steps last night to sleep in her in her regular bed instead of making her sleep downstairs. Oh, the neighbor's dog is running around again. And uh, and he's right there by our fence. Hey Maisie, is that a new friend? Is that a new friend? That's that hound. I was telling you it was getting in Dennis's way um, when he was trying to drive out the other day. So, anyway, so there's a dog on the other side of our fence. But they seem to be getting along just fine. That dog is not barking at Maisie. Seems like a nice dog. So our neighbor has two dogs, but we don't really know those dogs yet. But apparently we're going to get to know them because they get out a lot. But he's going towards the woods instead of the road, so it's not too dangerous. Sad to say, I do not have the phone number of our neighbors. And I should. So I'm uh, just occurred. Yeah, I'm just now making you watch me think about how I'm going to approach the fact that I don't have their phone number and they don't have ours. And we should because, you know, what if our house catches on fire the next time I'm on vacation? It's happened before. Well, a house didn't catch on fire. Our fence caught on fire. When we were away, there was a lightning strike on our gate right next to our house and our fence caught on fire. And our neighbor across the street saw it and put it out for us, which was very nice of him. <laughs> He's moved since. But every time we left, we'd let, let his name was Dennis also. Dennis, we're going away. Please put out the fire if you see one. But he moved. Anyway. 
So my plans today are to do that mailing. That's it. That's the only urgent thing I have to do. I'm going to continue to knit because I'm almost done with the stripes, which is, oh, you know, stripes are very enticing to knit. And, um, Helen Stewart has gotten me thinking about, well, if I don't want to make this piece next, what do I want to make next? Although I can't make any big plan because I do have Advent knitting. The big plan I have to do is come up with an Advent knit. I have multiple, at least two Advent cowls. I have at least two Advent hats. So, yeah, you know, Dennis would love thrummed mittens. I think I would discuss it with him before I made them. Although I have Aura's thrummed mittens. And I thought I brought my mother's thrummed mittens because I made thrummed mittens for Christmas for people one year, quite some time ago, including my mother-in-law and my mother. Neither of them really wore them, I don't think. So I know I have at least one pair of thrummed mittens. I might have both. Anyway, I need to think about what I'm going to knit for my advent. Unless I go with the idea that I'm going to stretch my brain in December and do those crocheted squares. 200 crochet squares. I bought the book. I haven't really read it yet. And I only know how to do a granny square. That's it. Or a granny stripe. Those are the only things I've ever crocheted. So... I'm not feeling, I am not, I am an absolute beginner crocheter and not confident. Let's put it that way. Not at all confident. And I'm not sure how much strain I want to put on my crafting brain in December, but we shall see. I need to start making a list. I, did I tell you that I um, bought Advents for everybody? Uh, it won't be a surprise. Uh, Christy watches this, so she'll find out she's getting an advent. But I just got notification that her advent is supposed to be delivered on Monday. <laughs> well, it all started. I ordered advents for the granddaughters because I didn't, I never, I, I told you that, I'm pretty sure. I didn't get back the little houses with the drawers that I gave them last year. I never got them back from the kids, I don't think. I'm pretty sure I didn't. If I did, they're underneath my my uh, table in my room. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I didn't get them back after Christmas last year. And to tell you the truth, I don't have the energy to buy, figure out 24 little tiny things that will fit in those little tiny drawers. So I wasn't sad that I didn't have them back because I really didn't have the energy to put together something like I did last year but I wanted to give them something and they're both very interested in makeup I mean my granddaughter Samantha is practically a makeup artist I mean she does beautiful beautiful work and she is eight I mean beautiful uh, and Isabel isn't quite as into it as Samantha is on some level, but she is too. She's 11. So I got them each a makeup advent from Macy's. I went out and tried to figure out, you know, where to get something. They're different. Um, and I, you know, I'm just going to pick this one, you know, I mean, I don't, I didn't pick them specifically. Oh, Isabel will like that one best. You know, I just bought two different ones. And um, so that, that was it. But then I saw the perfect advent for Rich, and I got so excited that I bought Rich an advent, and I'm like, wait a minute, if I'm going to get Rich an advent, everybody else gets an advent too. So I bought one for Christy, 
and Christie's and Riches are being sent to their house, and um, and I have, I bought um, Allison a spa advent, so it's going to have all different stuff, smo soaps and you know things. And I got Jason was the hardest one. Rich would have been the hardest one, except he's the one that I found first. And I'm like, oh my God, I got to get this. Um, Jason, I ended up getting 12 days of snacks. So they're like nuts, different flavored nuts and stuff like that. So I think he'll like that. Um, obviously, I'm not giving anybody candy or anything like that. So anyway, everybody's getting an advent. But... Uh, Thanksgiving is so cl so close to the end of the month that they're getting it on Thanksgiving. Well, the four that are coming here for Thanksgiving. And um, they only have to wait a couple days to start opening their Advent. So that'll be fun. But Christy and Rich are going to have theirs earlier. Well, I think Rich's is being shipped from... Well, to tell you the truth, I don't know. I have to go look. It's being shipped by Royal Mail. Which means it's either coming from the UK or possibly Canada, right? Does Canada consider, call their mail the royal mail? I don't think so. I think they call it Canadian mail. I don't know. When I saw it, I thought, oh dear, this is coming from the UK. <laughs> so it'll take a little while to get there. So he's going to, I hope it gets there in time for December 1st. But. Did I tell you what I got? No, I didn't. And I'm not telling you till he gets it and he sees it himself. I don't want to ruin the surprise. <laughs> but, it, but it was all his fault that everybody else is getting an advent. I don't think that they mind. <laughs> but I'm like, oh, I got I to gotta order this. Okay, everybody gets an advent. <laughs> I was going to say I didn't get one, but I did. I mean, I was tempted to order myself some kind of an advent that is not yarn related, but since I'm having four yarn related advents, it felt like enough advents. <laughs> My trilogy yarn has shipped. I got a notification, so that's fun. And my Megan advent has shipped. So I haven't heard anything from Sweet Sparrow. So I don't know what's going on with her. I haven't seen her on Instagram either, but I'm not on Instagram very much and I don't hardly see anything on Instagram anymore. So doesn't mean something's going on with her, but I guess I could do a little investigating and find out what the story is. She was selling them very early because she needed the money to make a big life transition. So if the big life transition isn't going well or whatever, I, you know, it wouldn't shock me to find out that things didn't go very well and she's not actually going to fulfill those but I'm not giving up and I I don't have any reason to say that I'm just preparing myself meanwhile I am tempted but I can't figure out what non yarny advent I, I, I'm feeling like, you know, retail therapy kind of, that's where I am with this. Um, but I can't figure out what kind of advent I would want that wasn't yarny. That I would get excited about. <clears throat> I mean, they have all different kinds, teas and all kinds of stuff. Um, liquor, wine, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not interested in any of those. So I think I'll stick with the four I have. Because the other thing is, every day it's going to take me a long time to do my advents. And you guys are going to be like, we don't care about these anymore. You know, it's like, move on. What's happening in your life? So <laughs> how many advents are, are you going to sit there and watch me open? Probably four is the limit. <laughs> I'm guessing. Anyway, I got to go. Yeah, I've been talking too long. Poor Leslie, her fingers are sore doing all this spinning. Leslie from Not Quite Enough Yarn Podcast. She she spins during my vlogs every day. It's her little spinning time. So the longer I talk, the longer she spins. I hope all is going well with everybody, that you're feeling good, that that, that all is well. And um, 
I'll let you know tomorrow what the vet says about Pearl. A little cliffhanger here. Ha ha ha. Please take good care of yourselves. Please, please, please stay safe and stay safe.